So Philip Mills from Les Mills. What's the background, Phil? Uh, Les Mills started as a small family gym operation in New Zealand. Uh, my parents started their first gym in 1968. Uh, in fact, my great uncle had gyms in Auckland in the 20s and the 30s. So it's something that's been in our family for a long time. But uh, over the last few decades, we've developed an international business where we export our exercise programs around the world. We're currently uh, selling our export uh, business to 12,500 gyms around the world. We have, we're training uh, 70,000 fitness teachers around the world on an ongoing basis. So it's a funny little niche business that's developed out of our original New Zealand business that we've been able to export. So everybody knows that name Les Mills across New Zealand and I've heard about it being in 10,000 gyms around the world. How did you actually get that first bit of momentum going? Just one foot in front of the other really. We, we just developed a unique little niche and people from overseas started being interested in it and so we started to then proactively sell it and set up agency networks and sales networks around the world and it just grew like Topsy really. Started almost 30 years ago. And so the health and fitness industry, is New Zealand positioned as being a leader with the kind of things you've done? Um, what's happening in the fitness industry is interesting really. The whole world health system is in a bit of a bad way. Costs are escalating. Um, people are not getting any more well and governments are starting to realise that we need to take more of a proactive approach. So the fitness industry is starting to shift into the health space, starting to move into the space of becoming more of a holistic health provider, provider of, of education and of nutritional advice uh, and really starting to try and um, provide a solution, an alternative solution to this explosive problem that we've got around the world with inactive ageing and with the obesity epidemic, some of the problems that the existing health industry is not really able to, to deal with effectively or affordably. And so most people know Les Mills as a gym and a place you go to and you've got the programs running in it. So you've exported the programs and taken them out of the gym, is that right, and put them into others? That's right, that's basically what we've done and um, as you say, most people know Les Mills or really, or any uh, gym as a gym, but what's happening now is in our industry we are starting to try and shift ourselves more into the concept of being a holistic health club, more of a, a third place, a community place for people where they're getting social interaction, which is a healthy thing in itself, uh, and where we are starting to educate them in what sort of food they should be eating, what sort of exercise they should be doing, uh, starting to move into that health space. So you've touched on it, but so what are the big challenges facing the industry? Uh, the challenges are really more opportunities. The challenges are um, how we go about making the shift that we need to make to step up uh, to, to deal with the demand that, that is there with these, these big problems that are out there right now with the, the obesity epidemic and inactive ageing, really. How we go about um, making ourselves more of a a fun place to be, making ourselves more of a social place to be and making ourselves more of an education provider, more of a, a holistic education provider for people. And so what about for New Zealand, the wider New Zealand, what are our big challenges, even maybe disregarding the recession, what should we and what should we be doing? I think that the next big economic boom in the world is going to be the green boom because it has to be and I think that New Zealand is uniquely placed to do very well out of that and I think we absolutely have to seize on that opportunity. We have some uh, incredible advantages in the area and I think that we have to move much more quickly than we are moving to take advantage of some of those opportunities uh, in terms of the clean, green, pure New Zealand uh, side of brand New Zealand, if you like. So we do have that, that brand perception going but we're not necessarily following through enough, do you think? Is that what you're suggesting? We could actually... No, I think that we need to follow through much more. We, we really need to... Look, for instance, um, you know, I was talking to uh, recently Russell Simmons, who is the head of the New Zealand um, Co-op of Organic Dairy Farmers, tells me that they get, uh, they get I think, $2 more per kilogram of dairy, uh, of dairy solids uh, for organic stuff. It costs them about $1.50 uh, less to produce. It's much healthier for people. It's much healthier for the environment. Um, and I said to him, well, how many 
organic dairy farmers have you got? And he said, we've got about 60 in New Zealand right now. Um, and I said, well, how many dairy farmers are there? I can't remember if it was 2,000 or 4,000. That's a crazy thing. Why, you know, why would we not be taking advantage of that? And why would, would we not be setting up regulatory frameworks that uh, encourage businesses into that space? Um, really, government needs to lead in this area. We need to start to introduce a series of graduated taxes on polluting businesses and we need to create uh, on the, the opposite side of that incentives for clean green alternative uh, energy uh, suppliers, food suppliers. It's a massive area of opportunity for our country. And so do you think the barriers are just that people are kind of living week to week, month to month, year to year right now and still just trying to make sure that the end of the year PL looks good? Is that why we're missing this? Because it's a pretty clear, large, global opportunity and New Zealand appears to be, as you say, positioned quite well. I think so. I think you're right. I think if people look at the long-term opportunity, uh, it's huge for us in this area in terms of job creation. Um, and for instance, Germany has created 300,000 uh, new jobs in clean energy uh, this decade. Um, there is just huge opportunity for all of our businesses in the long term. Um, green is something that is that we have to do because it's essential for uh, the sustainability of, of all business and of all society. It's something that has to happen right now, but it's something that has incredible business benefits in so many ways, in terms of reducing costs, in terms of increasing the size of your market, in terms of building stronger relationships with customers. It's just something that really all all New Zealand businesses should be looking really hard at right now and government should be leading on with policy and a, a regulatory framework. With your position running Les Mills and getting it to this point, surely you're in a position to hopefully steward New Zealand in that direction a bit so um, and have some influence, I would imagine, across governance and other entrepreneurs. I'm certainly inspired by hearing it and talking about it um, and having my micro effect. Is that, is that the way you kind of see your role as well now? We're certainly trying to do our bit. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Philip. Appreciate it.